One local man who is living the American dream started out as a food vendor at RIT and now owns multiple restaurants. But it's not about the businesses. As Emily Noonan explains, it's about sharing his Dominican heritage with the community. Luis Tejeda came to the United States from the Dominican Republic to go to college. Then, plans changed. He would say for the better. Basically, my college became to be a, 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 a family. <laughs> He had three kids and decided to stay in Rochester, but felt it was important his kids knew their roots. Well, United States, we have so many, so many cultures, and I think that it's good to have a little piece of your country nearby. He created Damangu, bringing the taste of native Dominican food to Rochester, a restaurant run by family. Without having funds to rent a building, he started as a vendor at RIT. We got five days that we go to RIT. And we decided to open something in the area so that students can come over and, and enjoy the, the peace of the Dominican Republic that we have here. Nearly a decade later, they are serving about 300 people every day within the few hours they are open. And that's not including the people he is serving at his two restaurants near the city of Rochester. I never thought it was going to be this big. I, um, when I went to the store, I go into any store, and I feel that... People see the, the business card and they, on oh my credit card, they see the name, they say, oh, you're the owner of this place, and that makes me proud. Tejeda takes trips back to the Dominican Republic, each time bringing new plates and drinks to share with the community. Drinks that we came from our idea from the Dominican Republic, like the Mama Juana. Mama Juana is a drink from the Dominican Republic. Though he says it wasn't easy, it's still not easy. What keeps him going? My family keep me motivated all the time. I don't want my kids to learn how to go back. I want my kids to see that even things are hard to do, you, got, you, can, you can definitely make it. Pretty soon, the Norton and Portland Avenue community will be getting a taste of the Dominican food and culture when he opens up another restaurant next year. In Henrietta, Emily Noonan, News 8.